Hey, what's up everybody? Let's talk some Scream 6 today. Um, specifically, I want to talk about some interesting fan theories that I've read in an article, which I'm going to read to you and show you in a moment here. Uh, some of them are uh, pretty out there, but it's always fun to speculate and things like that. We're getting close to, uh, or at least closer to the movie coming out, so it's cool to, uh, cool to speculate. Trailer should be here maybe any day now. Uh, so that is exciting. Before we get into this, tell me any interesting theories you've heard or you have down below in the comment section. I love to hear your guys' thoughts, and it could be a cool idea for an upcoming video for me. Uh, so make sure you comment below with your ideas. That being said, let's get into this. If you like horror, hit that notification bell, smash that like button, and push that subscribe button now. All right, so I'm gonna bring up the video here in a moment. This is a video. I'm gonna bring up the uh, article in a moment. Uh, it's an article from Scream Rant, and it's titled The 10 Best Screen 6 Fan Theories and Predictions, according to Reddit. Now, this article is uh, a few months old, so um, some of the things on here might be irre irrelevant based on what we know, but I still think it's cool to talk about. So, let's get into this. It says, Scream 6 was announced shortly after the success of Scream in January, and it looks like things are stacking up to move quickly. The next installment is now dated for March 2023, just uh, 14 short months. So this, this article came out in the summer. Um, but still, a lot, a lot of cool theories, and it's a lot, and a lot of them are pretty relevant. So, theory number one, let's talk about. Dewey comes back. Interesting. Okay. So this theory um, says Scream was one of the, the definitive 90s movies because Woodsboro and its inhabitants felt so relatable. No one was more lovable than Dewey Riley. That's true. Uh, however, which made his death in the fifth installment a heartbreaker. However, in an admittedly implausible theory, Elder Tree 09424 thinks he'll come back as the killer. Plot twist. Dewey. I know, I know, but wouldn't that be a wild ride? Kirby is in the message boarding, biding her time until, bam, it hits her. But she's thrown off by the news. Uh, she's in witness protection, so she takes to Woodsboro to connect the dots, maybe to see a familiar face. Well, from what I saw, and I know <clears throat> Kirby should be dead, and Stu might be alive somehow, apparently, but I'm pretty sure Dewey is fucking dead. So um, I, I don't like this theory for many reasons but but mostly just just because Dewey's dead and Dewey would never be the killer that 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 would be a turn that it it's just impossible to happen there's there's theories and then there's you know out there theories and this one's fucking out there here's an interesting one Sam turns evil I've heard this a few times um it kind of makes sense actually but let's read here um, of all the most shocking twists in the Scream franchise's most recent installment, the reveal that Sam is actually the daughter of Billy Loomis is probably the biggest. Um, yeah, that, that, that was pretty shocking, um, but um, I, I actually liked it. Um, so, let's see, John230770 thinks that she'll ultimately follow in her father's footsteps, writing, Sam turns evil. I feel like it could be an interesting twist. Uh, then this Delta person replied, I feel like that would be such a good direction. Uh, then the article continues, it's definitely something that will be explored further, especially since they've already gotten Skeet back once, and the only character Loomis is connected to will inevitably be a big focus in Scream 6. Yeah, they, you know, they really showed her, uh, showed her, you know, her rage and, I don't want to say evil side, but, but they showed, they showed that part of her personality at the end of Scream 6 when, uh, you know, she really started going nuts with the stabbing and then saw, you know, the, uh, force ghost of, uh, Skeet there, um, which I did not like, by the way, and that's a whole nother story, um, but yeah, I, I feel like they set that up for a reason, or even if it wasn't set up for a reason, it's something that's going to have to be addressed. You know, does she have a little too much Billy in her? Um, we don't know, but I, I think it will be addressed. Her going full evil, I, I don't know if they'll go that far, but it's definitely something that could happen. I, I don't think it's implausible at all. Here we go. Now we're talking. This has been uh, really circulating lately. The Cult of Ghostface. Uh, it says, Scream is known for incorporating more than one antagonist, but what about a, a, ca a cabal of ghost-faced masked evildoers? 
This is how uh, Dragon Edry thinks it's going to go. I think it's going to be a cult. That's a theme Scream hasn't tackled yet. It's true. It would make sense as the franchise's sequels uh, tend to have a focus on copycat killing, particularly in terms of Billy Loomis and Stu Mocker's influence. It's even more plausible. It's an even more plausible route considering Scream 2022 brought up Reddit toxic fandom. Uh, there's a reason a ma- there's no reason a mask a mass of killers couldn't swarm in on Sydney and other legacy characters. Um, yeah, I, I think this could be a direction they go in this. Um, what do you guys think of this theory? Uh, the cult of ghost faces. Um, I, I've seen uh, I've seen a lot of talk about it lately and I've seen a lot of people like it and a lot of people hate it. Me, obviously, all depends on the execution, but for me, I, I think if it's executed well, it could be really cool and there is, you know, that image circulating where it looks like uh, the cast is uh, looking at uh, almost like a museum display of uh, uh, ghost faces, um, like outfits and evidence and shit like that. So it, it could be something that they explore. And honestly, I, I'm kind of leaning towards them actually exploring this theory. So a cult of ghost face, um, it's very plausible theory in my, my opinion. Obviously, we'll see, but uh, I think it could be pretty cool. Uh, next one, New Sydney, Dewey, Gale, and Randy. It says, Randy Meeks was one of Horror's best sidekicks because he knew all his stuff, or he knew his stuff well enough to survive, at least for one movie. Yeah, he made a, one and a half movies. Uh, there's an argument that Scream 2022 is setting up the same, di- same dynamic that existed at the end of Scream 1996. Uh, Sid, Dewey, Gale, and Randy. Randy. Sydney and Gail are still alive, but they'd be replaced by Sam and Tara Carpenter, respectively. Then Chad Meeks would take over the Dewey role, while Mindy stepped into the role once occupied by her grandfather. Grandfather? Is Randy her grandfather? I thought he was her uncle. Am I, like, way off base on this, guys? Is... He's not old enough to be her grandfather. And I thought they were... I thought they were the children of his sister. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, I, I don't think that Randy's their grandfather. I don't think that would make sense. You know, 25 years, uh, yeah, I, I don't see it. Um, but anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll overlook that. Um, and it says, uh, WWSPD puts this theory fairly well with, I think all the signs point, uh, point to that Scream 5 was setting up the scene for a new group of main characters slash survivors, Carpenter sisters and Meeks twins. So my guess is that they'll be the focus for Scream 6. Um, and that Sydney and Gail will be supporting characters. Well, we know Sydney's not going to be a supporting character, but uh, Gail will be. Um, as far as this theory, I don't really know if this is like a theory or anything. It's kind of, it's kind of obvious. Um, you know, whether they're replacing who they say they're replacing or not. You know, they are the new cast. You know, Tara and um, Sam, and then obviously uh, Chad and Mindy, I think, will play a little bit of a bigger role in this movie. Um, I hope so, at least. I like them. Um, so, so yeah. Uh, here we go. It will open with Sam. Like how Scream opened with Tara, Scream 6 could open with her sister Sam. However, this time, it's Mr. Ghostface who doesn't make the sequel. What? A now-deleted user wrote, I like the idea of opening with Sam the way they opened with Tara last time but this time she actually gets in a fight and survives Ghostface killing them and unmasks the killer. The Redditor goes on to say that the main focus of the narrative would then be the Carpenter sisters and Sydney. well forget about Sydney now, trying to find out who Ghostface's partner is. Ooh, that, see that, that actually could be interesting. This is the last one I'm going to read guys, um, but um, that could be very interesting. So, the ghost face gets killed in the opening scene. We wouldn't see that coming. But, you know, you got all this paranoia of, you know, who is Ghostface's partner? And then, you know, things could happen that uh, could make them think that Ghostface is still around. Is he or isn't he or isn't she or whatever? You know, that, that could be very, very interesting. Um, and the twist of Ghostface getting killed in the opening scene, would, would we like that? I, I don't know. Um, but it, it could be fascinating that, you know, it's almost like a, more of like a mystery. I mean, it's always a mystery who Ghostface is. It's always a mystery. And some are done better than others, right? 
um, as far as, you know, who the killers are. Scream 5, you know, I thought the killers were pretty obvious. Um, you know, I knew Jack Quaid right away, you know, the boyfriend, and then Amber, they didn't... They didn't really do any misdirects with her, you know. She was just fucking uh, jealous and weird from the get-go. Uh, I guess you could say the same about Billy um, in the original, uh, but at least they had some misdirects, you know, with uh, the uh, cell phone not being the cell phone, you know, not being his or whatever, uh, calls not being hit from, from his cell phone or whatever. You know, at least they tried some misdirects. Um, and we obviously at the time weren't expecting two killers, so uh, so that helped the case. Um, but yeah, um, what do you guys think of these theories? Are are there any that uh, you would like? Um, I'm personally in the Cult of Ghostface camp where I want to see how they would do the Cult of Ghostfaces and like basically you know what that story would be would they be happening all over the country and our central focus obviously in this movie is you know the characters in new york um and and things like that i, th I think it could be really cool like i said um this article is a little older but i think it's fun to talk about theories like this i like articles like this because it gets our minds racing especially when we haven't seen the trailer yet like i said hopefully that's coming in a couple days here tell me your theories down below guys and you have on your own any um, that you've heard from articles like this or Reddit or Twitter or whatever. Um, and if you guys have any cool future uh, scream, I scream video ideas for me, let me know in the comments too. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.